I'm gonna peel this open on the air. Okay. Fine. Oh yeah. Wow! 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 Yes, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> episode. Let's get zero it seven, zero zero seven. Is that double seven? Ah, oh, god damn it! Da-da-da-da. I'm not gonna make stupid pawn jokes. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, god, Jesus Christ! So, oh yes, yes, double seven. And it, this is Judy Dench, and I am telling you to back off. Take a cab. Is there like a pitchforky kind of band that like their main instrument is a recorder yet? There There's should be. be there know? definitely should be. They get like a perfect ten. Yeah, they're on, yeah, a, and they're on Volkswagen commercials. And yeah, shit. yeah. yeah. <laughs> the singer, the lead singer, also makes artisanal sloppy joes. Yeah, yeah. You know? He wants He's to a, rethink you. The rethink the way you you think about a sloppy joe. Yeah, rethink yeah. about the way that you rethink about rethink. sloppy so, joes. So we're actually thinking about it the way we yeah. used to think. It's just a sloppy joke. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just a sloppy. mediocre. It's really, you know, simplification. Yeah. We're, we're really just thinking about elevating the yeah. simplicity of Manwich. They're yeah. ungentrified yeah. sloppy yeah. jokes. Uh, we we want to take so the sloppy the... joe and make it a, a neat joe. Yeah. Because we're smoking way too much weed all the time, and sloppy things make us uncomfortable. <laughs> so we need clean aesthetic lines wow. in the sloppy joe. This guy's got some mixed messaging. <laughs> this hypothetical <laughs> flute guy. Yeah. There's, you know, well, you never know where it's, where it's going with sure. the recorder. You bring a recorder into the mix... And uh, we're throwing curveballs. Yeah, it's been used oh, yeah. to break yeah. the tension. It's been used for soundtracking some of that's, the shit we got going on. That's such a great, if you're at a party, you need like an icebreaker. You're just yeah. like, you accidentally drop a recorder from your pocket. You're yeah. like, oh, whoops. Oh, Everyone guess. goes, holy oh, shit. Oh, hey, as well. Guess. Girls, gather, girls yeah, only. Yeah. Girls oh, only, right, gather right, around. Check yeah. it out. Remember <laughs> the 90s? Yeah. Girls only. Yeah. Guys, hey, Floyd, get the hell out of here, yeah. man. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, do, uh, t- Titanic. What do you guys remember the band Mother Falcon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, kind of. Yeah, I went to. I remember going to a house party about ten years ago when they were just kind of on the on the up and up mm-hmm. uh, around that time, and it was like their house. They had like a house. A lot of these bands they ha- they would have a house. Yeah, that they would just chill out and record at play. It was like a little their little commune, and so they were throwing a party, and the bassoon player. Just had his bassoon. Like I was walking up to the porch, and the bassoon player just had his bassoon, and he was just playing solo bassoon. And there, shit, you not was like ten girls just Indian style around yeah. him, just watching him play bassoon. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I think we <laughs> underestimate how much women are attracted to a man with a skill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like just, why are we narrowing it down skill. to like five? You yeah, know, good at, like, like whittling yeah. or something. Yeah, you, know? you don't have to play electric guitar and yeah. wear like sleeveless shirts. Right. Like you can just be good at bassoon. Yeah, it's like you you practice bassoon. That's less time for you to murder me. So yeah. really, that's I think you might be a match. I right? just love him because he's so good at lying. It's like mm-hmm. impressive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that too. Yeah. That'll never backfire. Yeah, right. I want you to play bassoon and also choke me during sex. If we, uh, yeah, as, as long as you choke me during sex, you play whatever you want. Right, that's, right. That's if you send me off with a sweet bassoon line <laughs> in the, during the afterglow. God, statistically speaking, there's like 20 women alive that have said that. Yeah, right. Like, at some point, like it's just a numbers game, you know. 20. I'd, like to, I'd like to have a meet and greet with all of them. <laughs> with all, with all and of them. Yeah, meet and greet. Let's do. Let's get coffee. Yes. Who is who's this? Then we got Andrew Murphy today. Hey guys, episode zero zero seven. Thanks for being here, man. Hell yeah. How you doing? I uh, haven't really met you before. We usually right. we have people we know. Yeah. This is our first one. We we're just like, hey man, I guess just come out because yeah, yeah. Follow you on Instagram. <laughs> follow each other on Instagram. And Could be uh, any of you man. next time. I yeah, think yeah. you uh, you really accurately nailed how little time I have, or like like how much time I have on my hands to just do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah, you sleuthed it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah. Did you say something about like f- funniest person in Austin? Is that is that real? You, you d- I mean, I wasn't gonna. Br- I don't want to gas you up. Oh, I, I, was gonna, I wasn't gonna bring it. Was that this Stop year? It. I went to that is this it? year. Did Thank you? you, everyone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You. There's a live audience. My here, cat is applauding <laughs> you right now. My my cat's waiting for a sweet bassoon line. Oh hell yeah! But uh, yeah, man. I guess so. Yeah, this year. I w- yeah, I, I won a little contest. They do uh, Cap City Comedy Club. You know, made it three rounds, and yeah. uh, I am the unofficial king of comedy. Well, the this official king of comedy. I mean, it's like that's, it's, that is official. Was that like yeah. April yeah. or something like that? What's that? Was it like in April? Yeah, it was in April. I so. was there. I, yeah, I saw one of your semifinals. Yeah, there was that one chick in a burka who. My favorite joke of the night it was like she was, you know, from a country that had burkas, and she just moved here, and she's like. You know, the keep Austin weird subject yeah. matter is not that funny, but she was like, you know, they say keep Austin weird, and 
And I, I think it's true. You know, like when I moved here, I was a, a white man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The, her only problem is she didn't close on that joke. She yeah, probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, Her <laughs> set was probably worse after that. Yeah. That's a great line. That's amazing. Stand-up's crazy because it's so easy to armchair, like, figure out what they should have done. Right. Like, I've, like I, I don't do, I've don't never done stand-up, and I'm always like, yeah. it's like, oh, they should just do what the funny people do. Totally. I know what they should have done. And they, yeah. you know. It's like when you're watching sports and you're like, yeah. why don't you just make it in the basket? Yeah. I <laughs> don't understand. You shoot it. What are you doing? What's yeah. going on? Oh, look, my tall. son does that in the backyard. Right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he practices makes, like 30 minutes a day. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. think about doing He's that. He's 42% field yeah. goal range. Field yeah. goal percentage. Yeah. Yeah. What? I, could, I have a gut. I could do this. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah. He do doesn't that. have any, you know, there's no defenders, but, you know, the wind blows pretty hard sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been picking up. In the, it's do winter you, time. Uh, I, have, I have wanted to ask you, do you, do you feel, yeah. you know, does that, you know, and I know the answer is no, I don't give a shit, but also, do you feel a little pressure? Sometimes when people, you're like, oh, I am the funniest person in the city. It's weird. Yeah, you know? <laughs> um, it is kind of weird because, like, that's what people usually bring me up at shows with. And yeah. It's just like. It doesn't hurt. It just kind of but. immediately crosses people's arms for them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and they just be sitting there and then just right, their arms let's slowly see it, just. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay. And, yeah. And um, so it is kind of weird. And it's yeah. also, the, you know, it's a, it's a cool contest, but it's, like, kind of arbitrary, too. It's yeah. like you got to. The judges, the things have to be going in your favor a little bit to win it. So it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't, I think it's like a cool title to have, but it's like, yeah, it's like yeah. Battle of the Bands. Right. It's yeah. not like they're looking at your whole career, your yeah. whole year's worth of work. Yeah, they're going yeah. off of like one set. So it, it could be worse. It could, you could be, it could be funniest person in Boston. And that, yeah. would, that would be very tough. Can you right, right. Heckling. Just whoever says the most N words during this <laughs> <laughs> usually gets the crowd going. Oh my God. Shots Who, fired, Boston. Yeah, yeah. Whoever makes fun of the town the, the least. Right, right. The least. It's I would have. Affleck's best work you know, just standing <laughs> ovation it's like I guess yeah. I would imagine that Austin audience members are probably more chill than the other than, well at least the Northeast Is yeah that, you have any any yeah. experience about knowing whether Austin where Austin places in the politeness factor I've traveled a little bit yeah. I mean I've mostly traveled uh, just to other places in like what like the southwest kind of so other cities in Texas I've gone to I performed in Montreal once and they're like but that was for like a festival so I couldn't really get yeah. a you know, if I actually performed for like a local show there, I probably wouldn't be understood because I don't speak French. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that where Just for Laughs is? Yeah, that's where that's what it was. You were Just for Laughs? Oh, yeah, that. yeah. So that was really cool. But that shit. other than that, I've mostly been like Dallas is a little bit more. Uh, they're a little bit more like yeah, make us laugh. Yeah. Oh, rowdy, Dallas. you know? Mm, uh, we, uh, yeah, make us laugh. All right, I'm starting the Tesla now. Yeah, yeah. Houston's kind of like yeah, we minutes. we hate you. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like we don't like you. You're like fair. Yeah. Uh, fair. So yeah, Austin's pretty chill for sure. Yeah, Dallas is a, Dallas is a definitely notorious among musicians. Yeah, as being just a town you typically don't want to go to. Really, uh, but you know, mostly Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum. I've, right. I've got a good experience there. Played a gig in Dallas once. It was last summer, and uh, it was for a Brooklyn Brewery. Mm -hmm. And uh, first of all, we pull up, and usually, you know, there's a guy, there's a guy or a right. girl that will, you know, you talk to. You're like, hey, where do we load in? And they're typically pretty pleasant. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this time, it was just a guy that looked like Fat Joe, the rapper, oh, shit. in a hitman suit. And uh, we, like, got out to load in, and he was just like, throw your shit right there. And we're like, all right. But he's like, don't park here. We're like, wait, hold on. It was like, yeah. we got to stop the van to put, it was like, you can't, just don't move your van. Just move your van. You have, like, well, we, you have to get the gear we out while to it's get rolling. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he was very confused about the whole process. And then yeah. we get in. We're trying to go to our uh, stage, which is on like the roof, but we take the wrong elevator and we end up in a. This is like in a loft. It's like one of those parties where they just rent out a loft. Okay. And you know nobody really knows what's going on. Right. Nobody knows where stuff is. Yeah, there's yeah. Just, like, one, there's one girl. She looks like uh, Janine Garofalo, and she's like running around. And she's mad. And you're like, ah, okay. Well, we're not going to bother you. So we end up in this room where like a bunch of hors d'oeuvres are being served. Imagine all the snobby people in mm. Dallas. They were all in this room. Yeah. And then we pull in with our fucking rock and roll shit and we're just like I don't fucking oh, you're we're in, in like the uptown wrong, yeah we went in the wrong room and then we turned around to go to the back in the elevator didn't work and so we're standing in there oh. for 15 minutes like with our shit and we're like ah, okay well the holy shit and then we finally get loaded in and then they give us a sheet of like free beer stuff like a bingo card oh, like cool. oh you could punch you get 12 of these Every punch is a free beer. Fucking sweet this kind of makes up for the cluster fuck that yeah. everybody's going to yeah, yeah. it's a good it's a good uh, compensation, we're fine. And then we get to the bar, and we're like, "Punch a beer, please, beer me." I would like one alcohol. Yeah. And they give us each each punch is a shot glass. 
A so, beer? Of a beer. Like it's a shot oh. glass of beer. And you're just like, oh, well, oh it was made by a beer chemist or whatever. <laughs> 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 you see a like beer. little like sparks going off in the back. He's, yeah, he's, like, he's constructing a beer for you that won't get you drunk. It was made by the sloppy Joe guy. Yeah. The yeah. artisanal sloppy Joe guy. <laughs> I think it might just be extremely cheap. I don't, I don't know if it's a scientist at all. Yeah. yeah. I think it, they, they suck. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That that does suck. That's, yeah. uh, that's like there's there's a place in Austin called the Domain. I don't. I mean, yeah. you guys know what yeah, I'm talking definitely. about. But like little Dallas, uh, Dallas. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like little you just Dallas. walk in and everyone's just like, "Oh, the help is here." You're like, "I'm outside." <laughs> I don't know why. I, I remember the Starbucks line being like an hour long. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, are you clued into that that thing that came out about the Domain like two years ago? No. That uh oh man, like they got in trouble because their 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 branding book came out to the public on accident. And the branding book, I don't know if that's the official ner- term for it in like advertising or marketing, yeah. but the, the branding book on the first page, it's like the avatar, like our, our, like who we're marketing to, to live at the domain. And it's like, and then they listed all these things that were like exactly the opposite of, of any minority. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone, it just spread around like crazy. And it's like, we're looking for a chic woman who drives a Land Rover yes. by day and a Jaguar by night. A no. beige woman with no, not beige. <laughs> sandy blonde hair. Not, not even beige. It was like, well, it was like either, it was like either Christian, Jewish or Asian descent. Whoa. And she's 30 to 40. And I think they were like trying to say her husband's really rich or something. Oh, like, man. I, it, it was just a photoshopped picture of like 13 Catherine Heigl's just yeah. like fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did like, <laughs> you see that? You remember that when that no, happened? No, not at all. Oh, but crazy. it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I really wish the domain was just a cruise ship and that it sunk into the ocean. I'm going to put that out here on the podcast. <laughs> okay. Ah, there's probably a few nice people who live there. Yeah. Get out, mm-hmm. get out of there, people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's like there's like the chain smokers, but and they do that thing from the Titanic where they're like, "It's been an honor to mix with you, gentlemen," and they keep playing their shitty like chain smoker music. <laughs> hey, uh, chain smokers is the the touchstone of modern. It's like the, their music. agents like uh, yes. they want you to come sink and drown to death on a cruise. Yeah. How much does that pay? <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> I haven't heard a single bar, bar of chain smoker. I don't even know who that is. It's so bad. I, I, kind of, I, mean, I know the name. It's like an old navy. It's like if old navy was a band. EDM. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's just like yeah. dance music. Yeah, like if you're shopping around at the Gap or something. It's like I, what I always thought. To. Hoobastank was as if Target was a band. So is this there closely <laughs> related? Is this any way? Does the yeah? It's like a little bit classier than that, but yeah. also way trashier at the same time. It's yeah, hard to explain. Yeah. They're just bad. What yeah. I, I th- yeah we I, you could probably we could do this with bands for like so yeah. if Crazy Town was a store, like what would Crazy Town Torrid? Be? I don't know if I nah, know Crazy no. Town. Crazy Town is Butterfly. Yeah, come, my lady, come, come, oh, my well, lady. Store. Oh, what's yeah. Claire's is that the one where girls can get their ears pierced at the mall? And yeah, it's like all, yeah. It's all uh, like belly button rings and shit. Well, it would be that, but you would incorporate date rape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would say it's like it's an Abercrombie and Fitch that closed down, and now oh. <laughs> it's oh, just yeah. the, you know, the boss is still there. Wait, yeah. <laughs> and there's a kid who sells Xanax there on the weekends. There's <laughs> a high schooler who hangs out. Still goes. Still yeah. goes to the high school parties. Right. Like Twenty four. <laughs> That guy's never. He never ends up. He the guy that goes to the high school parties. He never in, ended up like just flipping it around. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Are you talking like, about the college person who went to the high school? Yeah, parties? There, there are types right. that flip it around. There's some people yeah. you see them in high school. You knew them right uh, out of college, and you're like, oh man, you 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 check in with them on Facebook as you want to do sometimes. Right. Board. Let's let's stalk this person. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's turning around, man. They're you're definitely fat. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the they're also part. they're also not they haven't like murder suicided or anything. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> Gotta check. They haven't gone where you think they're you know they're headed. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So okay, how 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 bad do you feel when you find out someone in your circles of circles has died and you're just digging to find out how they died? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. And there, no one will say it. Because, so you're like, oh, I bet it's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. Right. I bet it was. Like, he the... left us this morning. It's yes. Like, did he leave us? I think hour? he died of an autoerotic affiliation yeah, yeah. of some sort. <laughs> affiliation. I think you know what I'm saying. The more good things they say about him. <laughs> yes. The, the 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 freakier the death was. Right. Was right. <laughs> yeah. If it was like clear, usually they'd come out with it and just be like, he was hit by a peach truck in yeah, the middle of the like, road. <laughs> it was a free. It was two in the afternoon. Truck. You know. The only person besides the Allman Brothers. Oh, wait, who was was the Allman Brothers? I don't know. Uh, for, yeah. Some <laughs> band got hit by a peach truck. Some oh, band? damn. For yeah. real? Damn. Maybe I'm... It was the Beatles when they were... Tra- it was two of the Beatles while they were crossing the road for the Abbey <laughs> yeah, Road that... shoot. And then... A peach truck sounds like a very, like, 
that it's just for some reason it's the most pleasant of Fragrant. trucks to get hit by. Yes, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it somehow be soft. You're like, ooh, you know, <laughs> you're kind of just happy. You're like, wow, that was going 80 miles per hour and I feel fine. I don't, man, I just instantly, I'm instantly yeah, yeah. having. Holy shit. I, would, I wonder what the first movie was that had the person crossing the street and, the, you know, like, 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 like oh, Meet yeah. Joe Black. And, but it's usually used in comedy. Yeah, it's like, it, it was yeah. almost Midnight Cowboy, but then Dustin <laughs> Hoffman was like, "Hey, I'm walking yeah, here." Walking and oh yeah, that became more lifesaver sentence. Yes, it always catches me off guard. Like right. it never, it always does. I'm not, I'm because I'm always like, it's not going to happen. Oh but, fuck! Yeah, shit. you can tell the way they're doing the shots, like when it's about to happen. Like if it all of a sudden cuts to like yes. a shot where the person looks like they n- might not actually be, they, they might be superimposed onto the street. You know, a yeah. truck's coming. So my favorite is the uh, the people in the car who get T-boned, who are just having a conversation. I actually had a bit I tried to make work about this, <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. just like, because they always just make it so obvious that they're not going to get hit. They're like, huh, I can't wait to go to the our, baby's, uh, sh- our baby shower <laughs> together. <laughs> Where we'll be soon having a child and we're happy. And then they'll like cut to the scene where the person driving just has to say something really important and they just stop looking at the road for like 10 seconds straight. You know, that thing where they're just like, you know, I gotta tie my shoe. I just wanna say something. Even if we get T boned by a car right now, I'll always, and then they just get T boned by a car. You're like, it's always the most obvious lead up of like, oh, the. This is too good to be true. We're five minutes in, yeah. you know. Oh, oh heavens shit. me, my shoe came untied in the car. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, wait, how do I... I'm going to try that other special yeah, time yeah, right. that my kids <laughs> tried to teach me yeah, yeah. with the rabbit ears. Okay, I'll just be looking up a place where we can get ramen. No <laughs> one's watching the road. Oh, man, that would be a great... I have a dream a dream of one day, once I have the, the connections and stuff, which that's stupid. I should just make it now. Yeah. But making like an <laughs> airplane, airplane style farce, and that would be a great scene to have where you're setting it up where the, where yeah. the person... It, where you set that up, and then the person's like... Uh, I, uh, I'm going to tie my shoes. And it's like, oh, hey, look, M&M's. And they're just down there for like half an hour. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just cars. Like, yeah. Pissed off. Oh, I want to write one of those so That'd bad. That'd be great, yeah. yeah. There's not enough dumb slapstick, you know? Right. It's almost yeah. like people are like, oh, we're above that, which, you yeah. know, uh, fucking I think babies, it's just but... money. Like, if people don't want to go to the theater to see slapstick anymore. So people don't if... go to see comedies. I don't yeah, think there's yeah. co- movie comedies that come out anymore. Oh, yeah, like theater ones, man. No, right? Holy shit. It's like, the last... Like funny movie I can remember going to the theater and just thinking was great was the Pop Star that Andy Samberg movie oh, yeah. that came out like <laughs> five years ago and that didn't that kind of tanked at the box office and so like it's like why uh, it was a dude it's so good Jojo Rabbit though but that's kind of artsy right you got to have some kind of Oscary bait kind of thing about it now I don't yeah. think that people make straight up you know. The Will Ferrell Adam McKay yeah, days are over. Done. It's kind of yeah. sad. That's all right. Yeah. They're getting very still. Right. And, you know, evolution took over, and it's like, I could go to the theater and see that, or I could watch anything else in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now comedies house. are just like, you know, small series on Netflix or whatever, so. Yeah. We'll be okay. And YouTube videos, man. There it's you just go. Like people that aren't even really that funny, but. Right. Now, they, they can edit funny, kind of like us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I we, really, what's up? Uh, I was just going to say, wait, no, we don't do stand up. We just edit ourselves. It, it works. I wish I could do that on With stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just set a recorder down and it's just a perfect stand up set. I just stand up there. Thank you. Right? <laughs> yes. Right? I'm killing. Insert. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> standing um, ovation. If You can't see it, but I got a standing as, ovation. Yeah, that's what that was. When I, I, want, I want to show you guys this Randy post I found. Yeah. Would you mind going to Chrome? Chrome. So this is an Austin musician's post I found. Uh, yeah, just uh, one of you guys can read this. It's uh, go read the the headline first. Okay. Um, Randy's go. Sorry, I uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Randy's new EP Hippie Jam can be downloaded for free. <laughs> and the way this guy explains his music, you know, he's just off his gourd. Okay. Um, just to let everyone know, my new release Hippie Jam can be found on <laughs> Noise Trade. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, all right. Uh, that's, <laughs> it's the ninth most popular <laughs> yeah. music trading, very specific streaming thing. Uh, it's a Pace Magazine link, and then it goes. It can be downloaded for free. Uh, Randy comes from a family of. I like how it goes third person all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Randy comes from I'm a family of musicians of and has over fifty years of experience. With his parlor guitar, he composes rock <laughs> instrumentals using chord melody. Sure, I've heard of this kind of thing before. <laughs> yeah. And techniques such as standard and altered tuning, finger styles, and slide guitar to create strong melodic expressions. Find him on most <laughs> streaming site. <laughs> um, most. Something about just leaving the S off of a specific oh, word so can funny. just ruin a whole thing. 
I feel like this guy's never met a non-guitar player. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> These are all words that mean nothing to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Only guitar players know about noise trade. And even yeah. so, they're yeah. like, all right, you think you, chord melody? Okay, cool. Let's yeah. let's yeah. <laughs> anyway. Contract him with questions. Contract. Oh my god. Uh, comments, suggestions, and share the music. And then there's the, one. There's just, a little gallery of photos up at the top there. Sure, sure. G- uh, oh boy! Click the thumbnails. These are, oh yeah, yeah. Hippie so that's jam. the album cover. Oof. Grammy or Grammy for album art right there. Yeah, yeah. I Honestly. mean the font kind of ruins it. Yeah. <laughs> you take the font it out, right, it's not yeah. bad. Oh boy! Oh, Randy. Whoa! There's Randy Is it the guy himself. from Half Life? <laughs> like the suit uh, man? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Rise and shine. Oof. Rise and shine, Gordon. The peace sign Obey. doesn't make me think he's not gonna kill me and my family. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, is that a mugshot? Oh, oh no! That, Ooh. That, wow! That's just Ooh. scary. That's him if he wasn't allowed at the domain. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then here's uh, uh, his 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 uh, uh, French press, like yeah. okay, with the well. Photoshop uh, 1.0 filter. Very early 90s yeah. kind of vibes. And then here's the Alrighty. Photoshop 2.0 filter. I would like I would like I would like Jeff Goldblum to narrate these photos right here. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, let, let me do something later. I'll do the next thing. <laughs> I was I was saying yeah, who's got the Goldblum impression? It's not me. He does. I do, but uh, okay, I could. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Earth, earth song. Earth song. Ooh, y- yes. Earth is. Uh, earth. Uh, if Earth had a song, it would uh, be very. Uh, I can't. Uh, I got, <laughs> I'm losing. A, close, I've got to make it, I'm losing the. Ooh, I'm losing his, the. I don't have French the vibe press. today. I, I was I was knocking around kind of a gold bloom trying one out with some friends and I had it for a second where I was just like ah uh, ah uh, it's ah uh, ah uh, yeah, fanta- fantastic uh, uh, like he just takes forever to say anything and he he has to be kind of slightly titillated by everything yes. in the universe right it's like ooh the the, the peace sign it's like yes uh, ooh that's the uh, the strong uh, dare I say phallic <laughs> uh, middle uh, middle uh, 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 obelisk there <laughs> and the uh, the two uh, uh maybe slightly more uh, feminine uh, you know, like, uh, I, I don't know i don't have it as good as normal but <laughs> just panties being thrown at him from yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, why boy. they call me zaddy oh my god i i didn't catch what this thing there's like one asterisk and then it just goes uh, do not no that's normal i think do not contact me okay i got you i thought it was going to be like my cat's visiting you know <laughs> hey what's up baby how you doing um, oh well, good. Best of luck to you, Randy. I hope you find <laughs> the group of Maybe we'll, we'll, put it on. we'll put it on after we're done. Yes, absolutely. I look forward to hearing this hippie jam in its entirety on an ep- a true crime podcast five years. From oh now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the document in question, if it pleases the court, and it's just a, a nine minute <laughs> xylophone it's, solo it's, for it's, a hippie jam band. It started out as an inst- in, 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 <laughs> started out as an innocent be my marijuana jam. girl. <laughs> There's always a lot of. I, I've found that a lot of hippies are a lot less nice. the The older they get, the yeah. more hippie they stay uh, as the, as they get older. Like if the hippiness correlates with the age, and okay. it just, they just keep it there. Uh, they eventually turn into assholes. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're like the the hippiness is gone. They just it's just they just wear a lot of tweed. They just yeah, a lot of ill fitting clothes. Uh, and, <laughs> and then, then they just, just turn mean. into assholes. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you call this a fucking guys. double mocha latte, you <laughs> piece of shit. And he's like Yeah. <laughs> they're usually sound guys. Yeah, like have yeah. a t-shirt that's too big. Right. Yeah, or they're not even outwardly. It's just like there's a thin veil of hippiness and then yeah. like right under it is just like if you do anything yeah, slightly wrong. They just turn into a demon. It's like, yeah. well, what happened to the tie dye and the Jerry Garcia? It's, like, what's it's, going it's on? It's years of forgetting to pay bills. And yeah, it just builds up this this paranoia and anger of the government because they are, probably are being uh, chased down by the government. It's because they're given yeah. It's because <laughs> they're trying to raise a family off like a, a independent coffee shop salary, <laughs> and they just <laughs> not have. They're just always stressed out. And a candle maker yeah. shop. It's like, oh, I forgot to pay that warrant. Yeah, uh, fuck. I'm gonna be an asshole. That's why I ride a bike everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get pulled over. I was a barista once on Second Street, and I had there. I had an old hippie regular, and uh, there was like a restaurant that was there was like an open space across, and it's like the Second Street district. Yeah, and she came in, and uh, and she was like, "What do you think they're gonna put there?" I was like, "Well, probably." A, you know, Second Street, so probably a store or a restaurant. You yeah, know? and she's like, "I don't know why it should be like a cool indie record shop." I'm like, well, <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe let's read the room, you know? Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. I, like, I, I think we have enough of those. There's yeah. one bike rack and no parking spots. Yeah, easy, John Cusack. Like, it's not... <laughs> they'll probably just put a gap there, and it's fine. Yeah. It's I okay. I can see them tricking the people that live downtown into thinking that it's a cool indie record shop, and it just has Dark Side of the Moon, Led Zeppelin 4, yeah. you know? Yeah. The Urban Outfitters Physical does graffiti. That. Yeah, exactly. You can, you yeah, can yeah. actually find decent records. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah, not it's that weird. bad a selection. And right. Target. Yeah, Target, Target has too. records now. Yeah, yeah. half price books. Well, ha- yeah, that yeah. place is awesome. Yeah, from, uh, from I always feel good true. going in. Ho- I don't go there enough. Yeah, That's, I feel yeah. good unless I have my offers ready at the counter. Then I don't feel good <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I feel upset. Half price is like Paul Simon for me. Like every time I hear it or experience it, I'm like, oh, this is fucking great. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm like, why do I do this once a year? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. just know. any book. Okay, yeah. I see. <laughs> Yeah. I don't have to buy it if I don't want. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't stay there for five hours. Page nice. one. Oh, this is awful. Yeah. <laughs> reading. Uh, I'm going like, to go to the graphic novel section. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which one has the big boobs on the front? Yeah. Do you guys uh, have ambitions of starting a large library and not reading any of those books and just having one at some point? You know? Yeah. Uh, no, I should actually change. I want to change my answer. <laughs> 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 I was kind of like hearing what you were saying, but I don't think I've ever wanted... Uh, I mean, I've wanted a mansion with so many rooms that I don't know what to do with all of them. So you have to fill it with books. So there you go. Yeah, yeah I have like a bocce ball court and like, <laughs> a, uh, you know. You could do the same thing by just having a bunch of bookmarks on your on your phone browser. There you go. And it's like I have a whole library and I don't right. know what half this shit is and I'll probably only go to each page once. That would yeah. get you laid a lot less though. I, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, pe- ugh, books. What counts as reading a whole book? Is it just reading the first chapter and then never picking it up again? Because <laughs> yeah, I've, I've that's read quite ma- that's a few. My method. No, no, it's, yeah. it's it's reading the first chapter and then talking about it the first yeah. chapter to a lot of people. Ta- yeah, talking about how it. excited you are to yeah. finish <laughs> the book and then just never <laughs> getting. So you know it. you're not going to keep yes. reading the book. <laughs> just imagining how good it could have been. That's yeah. kind of how I embrace every book. Yeah, my method is just I read the first chapter and then I fantasize about having the attention span for being able to read it for the rest of the and then yeah. like that story. I'm so learned. Yeah. Speaking of books, you, check out this uh, this Austin musician's post about the zebra, or no, no, it's, it's a misconnection. Oh, missing zebra. It's a misconnection. Okay. Someone read this. I I got I read a few sentences and I'm like, this uh, is gold. I don't know what yes. it is. Uh, missing zebra. Okay, long shot here, but our group has no other options. We have tried to figure out other ways to locate our gaming alliance member. Wow. Oh wow. This oh. Went, this went dark. Yeah. Quick. Okay. <laughs> uh, his screen name is Zebra. The friggin' zebra. In Discord. Yeah, okay. That's a chat uh, program. That's a chat right. program for uh, Oh, okay. oh is it? Yeah, okay. For uh, I thought they were just like, that was just like a weird metaphor. Yeah, I was yeah. like, man, that, okay, that was abstract. Okay. His real name is Brad. Uh, no last name. Doesn't have a last name. It's like Adele. Um, <laughs> from around the Austin area, he has a very cute a little uh, curly haired girl and a beautiful. And a handful, and a of, handful boys. of boys. Wait, are the. Like human kids or puppies? Yeah. What's going on? Like, so uh, he has a family, I So hope? he has a, whole, <laughs> a handful of children. Uh, he is a landscaper and has his own business. He had posted something making me think he is from Bowery Ranch area. Am I reading that right? Yeah. His Ooh, alliance I'm members impressed. are where his alliance members. <laughs> he, oh, no. He disappeared. Oh, oh no. shit. He had fallen from a tree. And was experiencing some concussion-like symptoms. He had two black eyes, but because it isn't my place po- posting someone's photo of their face, I won't share it. I wish you would. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be very uh, helpful. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, we are worried something terrible happened. Wow. Something terrible definitely happened. Um, <laughs> yeah, he he was the most talkative member in our group, and just vanished shortly after his his accident. Wow, this is. This is dark as shit. Yeah. We were hoping wow. nothing bad happened. We tried so many ways to find him. Just can't make sure. Just to make sure is okay. Can you scroll down just a bit? Yeah. And we just want to make sure he is alive and well. If anyone thinks they know him, literally, the group just wants to know he was okay. Wow. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get. To, wow. I didn't read to the end when I picked it out. It's kind of sad, but wow. it's very Holy strange shit. to put on misconnections. What was his accident that he talking fell about? Out of a tree. Oh, like Zacchaeus. He had fallen out from a tree and experiencing, so they only knew him through this uh, through this gaming group that they were in. Yeah, and then so yeah, every other post him. on this is we exchange glances at H E B. Want to have sex? <laughs> oh man, let's <laughs> pop that one open. Is that next, or yeah, should I just go I'm back? Sure, if you go to, the next, uh, it'll go to the next one, it's something about glances. At, oh, ooh, ooh, this poor, is different. 
Port A, a this, this past weekend. This past weekend. I know this is a huge long shot, but perhaps you're from Austin. We men, men <laughs> were both there this weekend, accompanied presumably by our significant others. <laughs> Can someone explain how presumably you might presume that these were our girlfriends? Yeah, I think they presumed uh, how parentheses were. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, we had adjacent tables at dinner Friday night. Wait, hold on. Uh, them and the people they're writing this to, or them and their girlfriends, because that's a weird way to sit at dinner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, Reach. Look, look, look what's next. Oh wait. Uh, oh, sorry. Look what sentence is fucking we, next. Oh, we traded glances as Stop. y'all walked, walked, and sat on the bench. If by chance you'd see this, you know who you are, I'd guess. Uh, so what is that? What, wow. are they, what are they? Are they saying like that they had a, a connection? With, never mind. I don't even want to know. I like how certain dudes think that just looking in like a hot lady in the eyes once yeah. during the day will make oh. you memorable at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. the whole day. Yeah. This guy's just being like, like, eh? Yeah. I see. I'm looking at I know you. How it works. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, every, we, we go on these every episode, and every single time we run across one that just talks about how important it was that they exchanged glances. Like yeah. their eyes were aimed at near each other, so it's on. I kind of want to find that H E B one here. Oh, it's. You there, will. there. Oh, there's yep, like there it is. once a day. <laughs> I told you it's coming. There we go. Sweet. It's always H E B. Goes tiny redhead, Gurn. What is green that sweater? Oh, oh. <laughs> They're too lazy <laughs> to type out green. Yeah. <laughs> tiny redhead, Gurn. <laughs> Hi, redhead. Tiny redhead, green sweater, glasses. H E B. Hi, we were there at the same time. <laughs> 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 oh man, I was in the checkout, couple lanes over. Then we parked close to each other. I was, I mean, what are the chances yeah. that this series of events? <laughs> yeah. I was in the white truck. Let's talk. Where, where, oh man, I hate it. That would be a red flag for me, just not spelling yeah. where with the H. Where are we going to get groceries when this store closes? Oh. Bye. How serendipitous. We have Mini Driver and South David Duchovny over here. What's going on? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, that yeah, store that is one. never closing, first of all. <laughs> um, maybe then she'll fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it just was just voted best store in, best grocery store in America or something like Real, that. The one on South First? No, just the oh. H-E-B in general. Oh, just so, in general. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Congress one's closed. Yeah, they're going to have to go to Wingstop next door. Oh, oh man. man. that's I live like right across the street from that place. Best best plaza in Austin. I'm going to throw it out there. What Which else one? they got? Which one? Uh, the, right like the Springdale H E B. Um, oh, it's oh. got no. I'm talking about South South oh, you, Canada, right? Oh, you're talking about that oh, one no, in, in general. Like, no, I thought you the one the one that's kind of close to are here. Are you talking about like, the Express or the Pleasant Valley one? No, or, it's like real like it's real ghetto like H E B like no parking spots. <laughs> the worst parking. Oh, lot we're talking of about all time. Manor over here, Manor. And yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that one with the wing stop. Yes, yes definitely. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's got a liquor store, a wing stop, and an H E B. That's literally all I need. All. Yeah. You know. So good. They got wings, drunk food. Uh, wing Wingstop Cajun. Do you do, do you do you mess with the Cajun? I do. I get the Cajun. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. get the Cajun. I get the lemon pepper. Oh, um, lemon pep. Their at- their atomic okay. just tastes like it doesn't have flavor anymore. Yeah. You know? Don't do you guys too get much. Double double fried. Uh yeah. You absolutely. It. If they're not busy. Well, hold up. They'll you do, can do double fried. Dude, everywhere you go, uh, everywhere you go, I'm gonna let you. I'm, this yep. is some Twin Peaks moment here. This is true. Gentlemen, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> Every time. You get buffalo wings. Ask them to cook it extra. Yep. Don't plan it. Don't wait for it. Just game changer. Let it <laughs> They'll kind of act like it's a big ask. They'll go, "Oh, it's going to be forty-five minutes now," but well, it really never takes that much longer. It does longer. suck to like when the beeper's done. It's like, "All right, back now." Oh shit! And what it, else and it they slows do? up everyone else's orders, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll like do, chicken jerky. I'll do that when I postmate. I find that when I do delivery apps, I'm I'm just decadent as oh, fuck. Oh yeah. Oh sure. They have, you don't have to look at them. Do it you for you. Yeah. yeah. You just you know. I, yeah, I want seven jalapenos. Right. <laughs> You no, don't have to look no them in the eye them. when you ask them to put the tomato on the side. No. <laughs> like those little things that you're always anxious about. It's <laughs> oh, great. Uh, should we do the challenge wheel? Uh, how, challenge? Much, where, how, how much time? Can you challenge uh, click over wheel. To Pro Tools to see we are at yeah, 35 Sweet. minutes. The tools of professionals is what we're using. Oh, yeah. Dig it. As only professionals use that. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, so click the middle of the wheel on this guy. All right, here we go. And we can re-roll if it's stupid. Invent a sport where the ball is <laughs> stupid, but we're gonna keep it. Yeah, I like okay. it. I like this. Invent a sport where the ball is. <laughs> Wait, it was three pairs three. before. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. But that would be perfect, but it's not how it works. Frisbee unfortunately. Opens vibrator. That's so <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, frisbee comes to mind. Uh, right? Frisbee. Yeah, but uh, the disc man is not a. Perfect circle. No. Thinking of like a hockey type sport, maybe. No, yeah. you know what would work is like a curling. 
thing. Oh yeah, oh sure. Like, like with, you know, with a discman, but you you it's you know you don't need a multi it, curling. You need multiple people on the rock. Yeah, you need to brush the ice's teeth in front of however the fuck that works. How about a rodeo where all the guys are just listening to a Walkman the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> you see them before they go out there, just slowly putting a CD in and just close, <laughs> yeah, closing yeah. it. Disc. Yeah. And then they have that thing where, like, stra- where, remember that thing where it would like strap to your hand? Yes. And you could yeah. go running with it. Like, and it would ever skip fuck. constantly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they yeah. didn't no, think it has skip that. protection. Oh, shit. It I forgot skips, about skip It only protection. skips half constantly. It looks yes. like Ty Henderson's preparing with uh, Mark Chestnut's greatest hits. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's got Great the choice. Eagles' greatest hits, the most common. And then the, the, the headphones that go behind your head, right? Like at the... You know, remember those like with oh sure uh, sure sure yeah. <laughs> I took uh, you can't lay down <laughs> first discman I got. It was like eighth grade, and we got we had a a field trip like a week after I got my first discman, and I had discman. I had a limp biscuit, nice uh, three dollar bill. Uh, I had Cisco. Yes, um, and it was ac- it was actually just a I didn't uh, know the function of repeat yet. I didn't know that was a thing you could do with the song. Right. So I got my friend to burn. Uh, uh, CDR, which was scarce resources back in these days, you did. They weren't. And then infinite. you accidentally get an RW, and you can't make a mix CD. Yeah, got them to put Thong Song on the CD fifteen times in a row, just because I really <laughs> like Thong <laughs> Song. Because you so, didn't know how the skip button. Yeah, works. yeah, and it was then. Then it was the soundtrack to American Werewolf in Paris. Uh, and there's. <laughs> what, what year was this when you got it? This was 1998. Oh, okay. Once you said 1990, I was like, yeah, that's yeah, a wait, solid. That's, that's, that's like right when Napster. Yeah, Thong Song and Napster kind of co exploded. And, yeah, and right. also Eminem and oh, Britney sure. Spears and Napster were just like... Phew. Yeah, I remember watching MTV and it would just be those five. And then I guess yeah. like LFO would be up there yep. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> they would just put... That was when they put... They would just put those... Uh, like the band of the week, whoever was just hot that month, it just they would right. throw them on TRL. They're like, eat this cereal in front of us. Like, yeah, let's yeah. do a cereal challenge. Can you put hot sauce in the cereal? Yeah, yeah. And Carson Daly's like, I want to shoot myself. And, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. and then Ja Rule would be like, fuck this cereal. He'd have like a, <laughs> he'd have like a beef with the cereal, you know? This cereal. You're like, you hear what Ja Rule said on TRL? I'm going to fuck this cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Smells so good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Ja Rule is really British. Like, he's one of those where <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, you take the camera Character off, you say cut, and He's like, hey, let's get this fucking bin. He's think. like method acting for yeah. a gangster role oh, in absolutely. a movie. <laughs> there That's was for Heinz baked beans at least seven times. Yeah. <laughs> and you've brought me Bush's baked beans. Who's Bush? Where's George my, Bush. I hate this country. <laughs> <laughs> where's my HP sauce? Get me my HP sauce. HP sauce. Uh, this this combo is making me realize that there are many songs from that for about 1999 that I've only ever either heard on the radio or 128 MP3. Like I've oh. never heard anything oh, above man. that in quality for about. Six dozen songs that are huge. Oh man, I've only ever heard them at the shittiest quality. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just the symbols that are just yeah. (laughs) Just I remember like having those like little MP3 players, they were were just like unfinished iPods, you know, (laughs) they kind of looked like C3PO and like the Star Wars sequel prequels where they're like he's not quite put together, you know, you see like the wires sticking out and shit. It's like, all right. It's cool. still working on it. Yeah, They're you got it from like a kicks. chop shop Master for Luke. music. A chop shop. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like, you got it from the same people that made the Twisted Metal Cars. You just oh, yeah. Like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> it, had, it had five songs. Yeah, right, five. right. Put your favorite five songs in there because that's all you get. Yeah, it was just, you know, one half of Enema of the State for me. You know? Yeah, yep. It was yeah. all the Tom songs. For, for a split second, I thought you meant Enemy of the State. I was like, that's a lot <laughs> the of... soundtracks. Just, just a bunch of Gene Hackman quotes for, yeah. like, for like 15 I like minutes. it when soundtracks put like a clip from the movie. It's like a skit, <laughs> like in the middle of the... Snatch. I remember the You're Snatch You're like, what soundtrack. am I listening to? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, lo- I think it's of a Dangerous Mind. Yeah. A Walk to Remember. Yeah. 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 American Wolf from Paris, man. Like, remember the Titans. That was a good soundtrack. I think my mom only had Michael uh, or, or John Travolta <laughs> movie soundtracks. Okay. Had like a big stack in the six. It was like Phenomenon, Michael. Uh, <laughs> it's not even his musicals. I like thought you were going to say like Grease. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Uh, no. <laughs> what, what's another? A civil action. Yeah. Like <laughs> face off. Spaceship Earth. <laughs> no. uh, battle, battleship Earth. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. yeah spaceship Earth at Disney World. Pretty sure that was a recorder. I think they had a lot of recorder yeah. on that soundtrack. <laughs> There's a, you'll just, sometimes you'll go, I would go, you would go to like parents' houses or like to your friends' houses, I guess, right. and just go to parents' houses. And I had one, I had one friend that just had, his dad was like really, he was really into John Travolta's like shittiest movies. So it was just all like broken arrow and like, oh, he's like, hey man, have you seen oh, a civil action? Yeah. It's great. It's like civil action. Get everything post 1994. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was the one that was like, it was like code name 
Otter or something like that. Oh, wow. You know, you know what I'm talking about? No. Like, that's not what it was called. It was like, I feel like Holly Berry was in it. It was like, code name, Oslo. I'm going to look it up. No, that's I can't. My just, phone's part uh, of this contraption. Do you want me to look it up? Yeah, yeah look it up. Like, do... Code name Otter. No, it's it's like... What if I just type that in? Password like... or code phrase. <laughs> um, let's just pull up John, John Travolta. Just filmography. Just filmography. And then go to the 90s. Remember how um, important like each movie seemed? Like when you would go see all the posters at the theater? You're like, man, each of these is like an amazing world I can get oh, into. Oh, yeah. Dude. Now there's a billion movies. I just miss when I was a kid and, and movies were all good. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mostly. Um, so starting in 1990, we got Look Who's Talking To. Got Shout. A lot of... A lot of trash. Pulp Fiction really pulled him <laughs> out of the trash. fucking sewer with, with, you know, some of these yeah. movies. Um... Orientate. Oh no, that's the Scientology. <laughs> Junket horror. He plays himself. <laughs> that is uh, okay. Whole I like how you read this. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, Swordfish. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a not a terrible movie it's either. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's got Halle Berry and she shows her her tits in that's, it. So. Yes. <laughs> that's anyway, really I'm remember X versus Sever. Oh my God! When did that come out? That, that was, was a, that wasn't him. That was oh. Lucy Liu, I think. Or oh no, right, right. That was like one of the biggest flops of all time. Was that it, during the the period of time where like versus movies? They were, Hollywood was like Alien versus. We got they're just doing all this. Cool. <laughs> we got to make all the versus Freddy movies. Versus Jason, I want Freddy yeah. versus Jason, Alien versus Predator. <laughs> I want uh, the baby from Look Who's Talking to versus, versus the, the Mighty baby from Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lot of that shit. Yeah, the baby from Look Who's Talking versus the baby from Baby's Day Out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which one just, cannot they, get hit by a subway train yeah, the longest? They can get stuck in a revolving door yes. for seven hours. Yeah, I just trying see, to be cute. I miss the era where Baby's Day Out, Out was like a good movie. You yes. know, where I could watch <laughs> it and be like, I'm glad I did that. You know, yeah, with com- with like two hours of commercials right, before right. you're done. Yeah, you watch two hours of commercials. It would be on Amazon Prime now and it would be starring like Chris Hemsworth's like second cousin. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, like, okay. Barry yes. Hemsworth. Yeah. Barry Hemsworth. <laughs> That's what nostalgia does. Is eventually we will probably people will be like, "Baby, stay out." Was a good movie. Yeah. We got to remake it. You know, everyone's <laughs> talking about how much they like. It just makes certain things not like people remembering that Space Jam was good. Yeah, it's like it's not. I loved it's, it as a no, kid, but no. guys, yeah, yeah. And, he, and like the CG where his arm grows at the end. No. So get this. Apparently, uh, not our generation, but like maybe one under us are all starting to apologize online to Hayden Christensen because. That's Everyone funny. hated the the Star Wars prequels, right? Right. But they miss their childhood now. That we were a little older, but like the the people like maybe ten years younger than us are like, oh, I wish I could go back to being a kid. You know what? The Star Wars prequel, Hidden Christian was fine. Wow. You know? okay. And then no. everyone's been like tweeting to him, like, sorry, man. It's not. And I will like, say, <laughs> I, I will apologize to him because I don't think it's really his fault. No, of course Because, not. like, no. yeah, yeah. it was being directed by a, not a director, yeah. you know? So yeah. they were just like. No, he's a good. No, George Lucas is a good director. He's a bad writer. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I I disagree. If you've seen the prequels, I think you can make a strong <laughs> case for bad at both. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, that's, yeah. I mean, we can't let people start thinking the prequels were good. we got to yeah. put no, a stop to that yeah, nostalgia they're, train. They're very... <laughs> let's start, put a start to that, right? It's, yeah. it's kind of like, yeah, they're about as good as like a um, a one-season uh, sci-fi show that didn't make yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, they're 90%. That That's when movies looked the worst, inter- interestingly enough. You go uh, back and Andy watch Valley. 80s movies, they're all puppets and shit. It's like, it's kind of corny, but you watch like... It feels real. Yeah, you go back and watch like Along Came a Spider, and there's this scene where a car flips off a bridge, oh. and it is the worst looking thing it's ever. Like it's a CD-ROM game. just turns yeah. into a cartoon uh, for five <laughs> seconds. It's just Pull a cardboard up. car. Yeah, let me see <laughs> if I can find it, because it's just like... Um, well, so okay, egregious. Spider. Is, that, um, is that Morgan Freeman? Yeah, yeah it's like yeah, a yeah. serious movie, you know? Yeah. It's not... Along... Oh. A long, a long spider. Game of spider. Yeah, it's like that. There you go. A spider you just, named you just Andy read it the, Read it in the low voice, and it'll it'll be like, oh, this is serious. I should take. A long this game of spider. That's cars. Read it. And it. Sat I, down just beside her. Read any movie title in this voice. I think this is it. Okay. Um, bridge crash. It's kind of a long scene. I hope it gets straight Enjoy to the bridge right. crash. Crash. Yes, uh, I can edit too. I remember when I did this movie. Yeah, yeah. Was, I remember listening to the chopping sounds of I the blades. The blades. Okay, so far real. Oh, Everything real. Virginia Falls is beautiful. We actually did, fall. Sh- we did not shoot this. In oh, Virginia. oh, more like for is Virginia the Falls. Damn. Oh, I have to pull this clip oh, up so we can see it. I turn it up. Yes, I want you to reach. Oh, out. It, no, it's the knob. Uh, the knob on your right on the interface, but don't. Uh, don't just, just don't go too. I mean, we don't really need to. Let's hear. just replace the dialogue. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, like, I'll be Morgan Freeman. 
These yeah, two. Okay. So if you're, you, I mean, if you're not watching this, it's just hey, two babe. people in a car about to get busy. This guy's hey, touching your leg. I'm gonna stick some, my entire hand into she's, you. She's got a very 2001 haircut. Uh, yeah. yeah. Come here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, no. oh wow. He's, and he's forcing. Oh. Take that fucking earring out. <laughs> he's got it. Oh yeah. Oh. He's being cochlear honored. implants. You didn't oh, tell me. Yes. It's all down here from here. Oh, here we go. They're gonna I have think to it's punch coming. The dick. There we go. And then along came a spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a helicopter. Oh, wow. shit. She's the spider. Oh, she's got short hair now. Wait, did she have short hair the whole time? I really hope this is the scene. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. what the fuck? Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, look. Oh. Look. oh. oh. And that was, that's actually better than I expected. Whoa. Yeah, you know what? It's not terrible. That was definitely 3D Studio yeah. Max. But if you like, if you look at it, just when it's slipping around, it's just like ba boing. Yeah, it's just like that's very about cartoony. Star Wars prequel CGI. level yeah. shit. Now it's real. She's gonna die. She's definitely gonna die. If you can hear me, hold on. Yeah. And then she gets scared save by a spider the, and falls. Save the suspect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Save him. Look at me. I'm afraid you can't save her. Let's, Damn it, Agent <laughs> Keith. We're gonna sing yeah. a song together right now. You need you to just me. fall. <laughs> it's water. You'll be okay. Right now we're gonna what? sing a song. Oh man. No. Why did they reach for her? <laughs> you really think you're gonna grab yeah, her? Yeah. Come on, you idiots. Oh shit. Oh, that looks fake oh, as fuck wow. again. She, she's yeah. Gone. She's definitely not. I think she's. Morgan she Freeman down the beautiful she, water. She could survive that. That's fine. Yeah. It's, she's a little. She's a pussy. Um. Right. Let's go. Let's wrap it up. Let's yeah, wrap it up. Wrap it up. We, we can talk about you for a sec. Sure. Yeah. Uh. What are, you, what are you doing? Promote you. Uh, it's fine. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm just oh, man. Nothing I say is going to match that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing will be as exciting as that yeah, burst that of was, noise just was. The uh, only dogs can hear. Uh, what am I doing next, man? I'm, I mean, I'm going to be... Uh, I have two shows that I host that you can check out. One's called The Joke of Painting. It's a Bob Ross... Joy of painting spoof with Hell comedians. Yeah. You do that with uh, Avery, right? Avery Moore, ah, local she's, great. she's awesome. Yeah. Um, we we co-host it, and you're, the audience gets painting supplies so they can follow along oh, with the so demonstrations. Fun. Oh, awesome. Super fun. Yeah. No one's yeah. good at painting actually because they're yeah, all yeah. comedians. <laughs> but are we uh, allowed to drink wine like moms? Like oh, we prefer wine? it. It's oh, only fun excellent. if people are drunk. Yeah. And and should I wear a long flowing robe? Should we just go full mom for this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Bring a yeti of of delicious tea. Okay, good. Yes. Um. And you can and you can also check out Hot Take Olympics. It's a show that I, it's just a stand up showcase that I host uh, at Bungalow on Rainy Street. It's the least douchey thing happening on Rainy Street <laughs> yeah, that's on, a, good. on a Wednesday yeah, yeah. night. I'll tell you that much. Is that one? Isn't that getting that bar getting torn down? It is unfortunately. They got another year or so. So I'm gonna try and uh, <laughs> we're gonna try and do a show during the day of demolition. Oh, that's right. Awesome. We're gonna do stand up in front <laughs> just, of the building yeah, so they won't knock you can it pry down. this showcase from my cold dead. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll find out how little they care about the lives of comedians. <laughs> like, oh, it's just a, yeah. it's a guy working on his five minutes. Let's just keep going. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that's a new bit. Oh, that's Doesn't like work. a joke. Yeah, like the Joker would set that scheme up. It's right. Like, let's see how much this city cares about comedians yeah. after all. <laughs> Cut to him. Uh, uh, dating's kind of weird, huh? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just doing like hacky stand-up <laughs> comedy. So I've been on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, a little bit of rubble there. Uh, I would have loved if Joker, like the scenes where he's doing stand up, he wasn't insane and instead he was just doing hack premises. Yeah, you know? Like, he kind of was. He's like, employees must wash hands. Does that mean I don't have to? Because I'm not a crickets. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> uh, All right, that's rub that's my new. hands in the um, dirt. Yeah. I put poo poo in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> so, poo -poo. man, men and women are different, huh? Yeah, we're right. Just, we're different. You man, know? Th these bitches be at the, the equinox, am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he trying to do like that? Caspi, ah, yeah. looking at you like, you look pretty tasty. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for yoga pants, am I right? Huh? Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, man. Well, Andrew, hey, man, thanks for doing it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. This is yeah, fun. It was great.